I was installing this Wise Floodlight Pro, and the first sign that things would go well was I inserted the microSD card in the correct orientation on the first try. That almost never happens. Before doing anything with the wires, I made sure the circuit breaker and light switch were turned off, then double and triple checked the wires with the voltage tester to ensure they were not live before putting on the bracket. They include a pack of different sized mounting screws, so you can use whichever one fits the junction box. The instructions were quite easy to follow, and have to give credit to Wise for making something so DIY friendly. Instead of using the included twist wire connectors, I used the Wago lever wire connectors, since I've had difficulty getting the twist ones to work before. I made sure to check that the wires weren't overstripped on the side of the Wago. I pushed the wires back into the junction box and mounted the light with the center screw and put the rubber stopper over the screw. When I added the device to the WISE app, it performed a Wi-Fi check to see if the signal was good enough for the camera and to my astonishment, it said that I was out of range, and I thought I had just done all this work for nothing. Thankfully, I retried the connection, and even though it was a poor connection, it still let me set everything up. The view does seem to be a true 180 degree view, which was a step up from my old security cam that was mounted on the window. The surprise instruction in the booklet is that they suggested caulking along the sides of the light. I had some leftover caulk from other projects. When I took out the screw that I used to preserve it, there was a lot of rust color residue in the tip, so I had to cut the nozzle pretty far back. It wound up being okay as I used the caulk finishing tool instead of my finger to get a cleaner finishing look to the caulk. Instead of using the screw again to preserve the tube, I used this plastic plug, so hopefully it won't get any rust the next time I need the tube. Once that was done, I added a switch guard for the switch to the light so I wouldn't turn it off by accident. I always try to get the light switch screws perfectly vertical. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this content.